lab junctions digital plane photometer lg 384 this is the complete unit this is unit 1 digital plane photometer unit 2 compressor these are the accessories these are the accessories of digital plane photometer this is instruction manual two dust cover and one warranty card these are sample beakers these are this is extra lighter auto ignition is also available in the plane photometer in this pocket there is three capillary tubes cleaning wire two extra elements and two nozzles of air pipe now how to assemble this this is the main unit in the back side you in the back side this is the power cord this is the pipe for gas cylinder pipe for gas and this is auto ignition it starts when you press when you press it starts when flame goes on you release that now this is the gas regulator this is the capillary wire for junction and this is the drain pipe this is the compressor unit in this this is the one is a manometer gauge on off this is the pipe for connecting compressor to unit 1 of this from this is connection 1 and this is connection 2 okay now switch on off the instrument again we start the instrument start the main unit start the compressor always set the compressor on 0.4 to 0.6 always set compressor 0.4 to 0.6 now ignite the flame i will switch on the gas cylinder now you come on the side this is the gas cylinder first you minimize that you turn on the single rotation and press the auto ignition automatically flames goes on you go to this side and now this side always your flame cone of this size in this one big cone is there and two small cones are there when two small cones shock big cone automatically shocks in this flame photometer there are two filters this is sodium this is potassium again i will set on sodium how to calibrate sodium standard this is the sensitivity switch 1 2 3 i will start from 1 these are the standard solutions sodium 40 ppm potassium 40 ppm two standards are there now first we standard sodium 40 ppm now aspirate the blank solution and this is the chimney of digital flame photometer it protects the flame from air now suppose suppose zero is not coming suppose like this aspirate this water and set zero set zero from zero now like this now aspirate the standard solution of 40 ppm 
like this like this now set spd uh, standard value of 40 ppm suppose i am maximize this but 12 achieves then go to sensitivity 2 it goes to 172 then down reverse this set to on 40 ppm if 40 not achieves on second sensitivity then go to third always set on minimum sensitivity now this is 40 now again as the distributor Suppose if not achieves zero, then again set zero from this, and we will check the value of forty ppm. Again cross check that Now again cross check 40 ppm Again, I will cross checking that. Now it is calibrated. Now it is calibrated. It goes to 39, 40. Now sodium is calibrated. Now sodium filter is now ready for analysis. Only aspirate the sample solution and take the readings. Now I take the reading of potassium. This is potassium filter. Again, I am setting to zero.
Now this is potassium 40 ppm. As per the potassium standard. Set it to non value, suppose that is the 40 ppm standard function. Cross check that. G dot ends always refresh function cube with tissue paper. Suppose 40 not comes again, then you get that. Again, cross check that. Again, check the standard solution of potassium. Now this is calibrated. Now potassium is calibrated for analysis. Again some fine tuning. Again, check in this under condition of potassium.
Don't check on the about these two weeks, do you? Now this is the ready for analysis of potassium standard solution. Repeatability comes. This is the final demonstration of physical plane photometer as we see here. Now in the plane photometer mean is the plane system. Mean is the plane system. Now you go to your work and again you come on your lab then suppose you switch off the suppose you switch off the flame like this wait a minute i have switch off this lander then flame goes on and switch off the main machine and switch off the compressor now you come after suppose uh, next day then switch on the main unit and switch on the unit 2 of flame photometer then you directly switch on the gas cylinder show this and directly press the auto ignition automatically flame starts no need of rotating the gas letter gas regulator again and again okay always use triple or double distilled water for flame analysis this is the final demonstration of this flame photometer okay thanks sir stop